It's the only Sicilian that's more Dominican than Sammy Sosa himself. By the way, they're they are the same color. They're the same color. Yeah. I was about to say. Hey. The Peter Samoletti of the scumbag source that's what has they say. been to the island of Hispaniola more times than Christopher Columbus himself. Got welcome, it. welcome, Pete. How's it going? It's going well. It's going well, man. Same old, same old thing. So, Pete, what do you think about Aaron Boone coming out and saying, hey, the Yankees are not looking to add Cobb or Lynn? Yeah, I talked about that not too long ago. It just seems like it, it could be another ploy. I mean, it could be for real. It could be a ploy. I mean, we've seen the Yankees do this um, not too long ago with uh, Mark Teixeira when they said that Swisher was the first baseman. They weren't going to make any other moves. They weren't interested in anybody else. And then, boom. Uh, you got Tex over there, first base with a very large contract. So, could very well happen. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't necessarily say that that's the end all, do all. That it's not going to happen, but we'll see. Do you think they're just trying to uh, dump Ellsbury still because they're playing him? I would think they would have to be. I mean, uh, there's no, there's no, there's no place for the guy in this team. I mean, at the end of the day, if somebody gets injured, you know, you got guys still ahead of him. You yeah, know, I, I see that they are including him in the lineup. Um, most of these games, and I guess they want to increase his value to still move him. Yeah, it could definitely be a showcase type thing where um, they're just showing other teams that he's healthy, he's in, he's in good condition, he can he can obviously play. But, um, yeah, I, I don't think there's any doubt in my mind the Yankees would dump Ellsbury if somebody comes along. So what do you say? Let's say the Yankees don't go out and get that ace or, you know, a solid pitcher. Do you see them as a first-place team or what? I mean, it's tough. I mean, I don't, I don't see them as a, <clears throat> as a, as a failure of a team. I yeah, mean, you I always, still see them with a, with a good record, like ninety two or ninety three wins. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I, I predicted them. I predicted them on my live chats all the time at one hundred and sixty two. But that's an easy <laughs> prediction of of hoping they get another starting pitcher. But um, with the team right now, if they don't add another guy, I mean, I, I really, I see them again, like you said, ninety two to ninety five wins. Um, still, I think they're better. I think they've improved from last year. Um, overall, if your guys have gotten better, you, you, would, you would think Tanaka would have a better year. If Montgomery could improve, that's big. I still rather them have another starting pitcher and put Montgomery in AAA to start the year. People get mad at me when I say that, but it's the depth idea. I, I like a championship team is going to need multiple starters. And if you're going to jump to guys like Justice Sheffield and Chance Adams, and, and and Domingo Herman, I don't feel that's going to truly get the job done. Can it? Yeah, it can, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Let's say the Juice Bowl makes a comeback in 2018. We're going to have a problem because Tanaka will be serving up home runs like like Babe Ruth was batting at every at-bat that Tanaka is pitching in. Yeah, I mean, the home run issue last I mean, he's been a home run guy throughout his career, and that's not going to slow down, especially at Yankee Stadium. You'll see, guys, uh, the, the home runs going up. You've seen it with Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray's homers went up. You're going from Oakland to Yankee Stadium, which oh, is man, quite yeah, the gonna, difference. It's going to inflate. I mean, he's definitely going to give up more homers. I mean, y overall pitching staff, the Yankees are going to give home runs up. I mean, it's going to happen. It's the stadium. It's what the stadium does. Just like when teams come in there and face the Yankees, the Yankees are going to hit homers. So, I mean, it ha all that has a, a lot to do with each other. But I personally feel like I really hope – that they add a starting pitcher by the, by opening day. Yeah, the Yankees are reminding me of the New York Knicks. Their only logical solution to fix their team is adding a legit point guard. Like that one mm -hmm. year, Jason Kidd was their point guard and went to the playoffs. The Yankees' problem here is that the last real ace we got was CeCe Sabathia. Right. And the Yankees, we haven't seen that yet. We don't know what we're going to get out of Severino. Like. Mm -hmm. I'm saying we need the, we need that ace, that proven veteran ace on our team to, let's say, carry us into the playoffs, be a showstopper. And, you know, the Yankees haven't had that in quite yeah. so many years now. Yeah, and, and again, I mean, it's, it's the same thing you could say for most major league staffs and most major league teams. I think the only team that can – well, I don't want to say the only team, but one of, if, if I were to use the Astros, I'd be comfortable with my rotation. I would be comfortable knowing that these guys typically hold up. Yeah, you know, Keuchel had some injury concerns, but typically they're a team that holds up. But if you're looking at the Yankees, for an example, you're right. I mean, you can run down it. You got uh, Severino, who threw more innings than he ever has, uh, stressful innings, too, in the postseason. How is that going to affect him? If he gets better or he's the same, then, hey, that, that's great for the Yankees. Uh, Sabathia's knee problems. Uh, Tanaka having a rough year last year. 
Does he build off that? Does he get better? Does he make changes? Does he make adjustments? He's a question mark. Sonny Gray coming over from Oakland and New York. He pitched decent for the Yankees, but again, could still be a question mark. And then again, you got Montgomery, who's who's coming into a second year. And people always say that, well, he'll probably get better. Well, guess what? The league could adjust to him too, which doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, he's going to be as good as he was. He could really tail off. So hopefully they get better. And that's the way you got to see it is that they got five healthy guys right now. And they do got a little bit of depth in the minor leagues. I just really, really, really would like to see them add a guy. And I still think they eventually will. So, um... You said Keiko for an example. Keiko, yeah, he was kind of in and out last year, but he's proven to be that showstopper type picture exactly. when it comes to being clutch. I don't see the Yankees exactly. having that kind of picture on their rotation. Maybe. It, I mean, if you ask me, CeCe Sabathia was that guy come to play come playoff time, and the dude's like, what, 37 years old now? Yeah, I mean, CeCe and Tanaka were the guys in the postseason for the Yankees. I mean, if, if Tanaka can just be Tanaka – I mean, if you really think about his season last year, that first half was horrible. I think his first ten starts or so was was just was just absolutely yeah, he terrible. Was, he so, was horrible. I mean, he was horrendous early in the year. So the second half, he really turned it around. Went back to about a three and a half ERA guy, which is what Tanaka is. He doesn't need velocity. Here's a guy who who's gonna be able to mix it up, uh, continue to pitch well. He was great in the postseason. Uh, him and Sabathia were absolutely excellent. Sonny Gray had a decent outing against the Astros, but again. You know, Severino also had one decent game, but nothing really, as, as you say, and I agree, is that we still don't have that showstopper yeah, yet. Yeah, Sevy was subpar for and, uh, complete Sevy could be that guy. Yeah, Sevy was kind yeah, of like subpar Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't really special. Yeah. He definitely that, wasn't and, special, and, but he could be that guy. Yeah, but if the Yankees are going to be successful and sustain first in the AL East, Sevy has to have a great year again, so... Yeah, that opinion. too. And then the other thing you got to think about is, oh yeah, he'll, he'll definitely have to have a good year for the Yankees to compete. The other thing you got to think about too is at the deadline, I mean, there is going to be other guys that are available that aren't available right now. You know, you got Cole Hamels, who is a big game pitcher. He always has been. Um, that would be a, a, a guaranteed target of the Yankees. He's going to be a free agent, so it's going to be a, a rental for a couple of months. So a, a lot of good things could still happen at the deadline. Yeah, but, but um, the way I see it is that Come the trade deadline, we we don't know if the Yankees are going to be like ten games out of first oh, place. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So you I don't know. Just... I don't know why they're gambling again because they did the same thing last year and look what they did. They went out and traded for Sonny Gray. And yeah. if you ask me, the Red Sox, if they catch heat, they go on a win streak. They might be like ten games out come trade deadline. Yeah, I'm not a. I'm not as high on the Red Sox as a lot of other people are. I mean, I, I, their rotation looks nice on paper, and it looked nice on paper last year also, and we see how that turned out. I like, I, I love David Price. I don't like David Price in Boston. I, I've said that for a very long time. Whatever it is about him in Boston, I, I'm not a fan of. I don't think he's going to perform. He's going to continue to perform well. Last year, I know he had a, a lower three ERA, was, was pretty good, wasn't his same self, got injured a, a, quite a bit. Sale really tailed off, but again, I'm not going to be the type to knock Sale. Sale's one of the best pitchers yeah. in baseball by far, by a long shot. Drew Pomeranz, I still feel, is a toss-up. I don't think he's as good as he performed. Porcello, as you see, is up and down every year. Wins a Cy Young, then comes back as an, a, a four or higher ERA pitcher. So um, I think they got their, um, you know, they they got their worries also. The offense, I think, is good. I wouldn't say it's great, and and I've continued to say that. Um, they got a good lineup, no doubt about it. But, uh, you know, Pedroy is on his way out. Hanley Ramirez, I don't see as nothing too special. Um, they got guys who got to really overachieve too. And the good thing for them and the Yankees is a lot of the big players in the division are no more there. Yeah, you know, uh, the thing I'm they're saying They're going to beat is, up on some teams. Yeah, they're going to beat up on the AL East, but we got to analyze the Central as well. The Royals right. ain't a good team no more. You have a whole bunch of teams. Detroit. Exactly, on the West too. So it's going to come down to what teams – or the Yankees and the Red Sox going to be successful against. And it's going to come down who has won more games against those teams, and it's going to come down to the Red Sox versus the Yankees. So oh, yeah, that's that's what it's going to be. Long. It's going to be a lot of those battles with them going up against each other to see what happens. And, um, for the Yankees, a lot just has to fall into place. You know, um, we, we see what happened last year. You know, we see what, what, what Aaron Judge does now. My whole question is, what if Judge comes down and he hits 36 homers, bats – 256 
You know, do I think that happens? I don't. I think Judge is really a complete player. I think before that shoulder injury, that was the real Aaron Judge that we you saw in September. You know what I noticed about um, Aaron Judge when he was on that hot streak? He kind of reminded me of Derek Jeter with his swing, where he goes up there looking to hit the ball. And then when he went into a slump, it was more like he was looking to hit a home run. But when he's at his best, he's looking to just make hits. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and he goes a lot to right field when he's really good, and, and that's what he was doing early on. But the thing with Judge is when he had that the left shoulder injury, you can tell. I remember one game that um, that Paul O'Neill was breaking it down really good, and you could see when he was getting ready to swing, he was dropping his front shoulder quite a bit, and he was popping up on a lot of balls that typically would have been homers. So I think that really did affect him for quite some time. But I think I really think Judge is as good as, as the guy we saw. I'm not really concerned about many of the Yankees' offensive guys. I think they're either as good or better than what they performed last year. I think Stanton's going to have a good year. I really do. I was hearing some people yesterday saying that he's going to bat around 250 or so, 40-something homers. That's still a good year, but I Stanton's really gonna, think Stanton's going to have a good year. Yeah, he's going to do good. He's a line drive home run hitter, the Yankees, Yankee Stadium and all these American League parks. He's just going to dominate them. But if I were the Yankees, I would start – Sheffield to start the season and if he has a better spring than Montgomery I will choose Sheffield over Montgomery I don't I don't see Sheffield as a complete product yet to do that I mean the controls not there he still needs to but, work on a change yeah, up. he got a slider and a fastball Montgomery as was said not to be a complete picture either so True. and Je um Sheffield has that intimidation factor to him he kind of reminds me of David Price when he was a rookie or new to the game he yeah, has that demeanor to him. yeah. Sheffield reminds me a lot of. I was saying to yesterday uh, on my chat, he reminds me a lot of a young Francisco Liriano. If you remember when he first came up, he got that really good fastball, very good sharp slider, like a like when. If you remember when Johan Santana was the man, and then they brought up, um, they brought Francisco Liriano up out of the pen. I can see that happening this year. Yeah, is is that you know around August or so. Um, Sheffield, if he's dominating double-A, dominating triple-A, showing good performance, I could see the Yankees bringing him up as that sharp kid out the pen that can just throw bullets by guys I, I throughout think, the rest think, of the I season and in the postseason. Yeah, I think they'll just start him, to be realistic. I think he's ready now. Possible. Like if you it's see possible. Him, yeah, if you see him on the mound, you see his demeanor, he's ready now. Yeah, it's possible. I, I'm more than certain they'll they'll start him in triple-A, double-A, or triple-A. I doubt he makes the Yankees out of spring training. Montgomery's going to get that chance if they don't add another starter. But Sheffield has a chance to do a lot of damage. I to, I've said it all along. I like him a lot yeah, more than be, Adam. Yeah, but to be honest, if you add him to the rotation and start the season or whatever, hypothetically, he might do better than the pictures on the Yankees' current rotation, to be quite oh, it's, honest. Oh, it's very, it's very possible. It's very possible. It's just, it's just a little more of a drastic move than I just see the Yankees feel comfortable with doing. Not that it can't happen. I mean, it, it could happen. I, I mean the Yankees. I think the Yankees. I think the Yankees need to um, trade uh, your boy. What's his name again? The other starting role, um, picture that Adams. Yeah, Adams. Chance yeah, yeah, I'm not. I've never been a fan him. of him. Yeah, I think they need to include him with a package because uh, Brandon Jury is the future of the Yankees because he will hit more home runs in Yankee Stadium easily with those uh, doubles on his record. So he, I, I see the Yankees keeping Drury. So they have a whole bunch of prospects to trade still. So, yeah, I think Chance Adams should be put in a package to maybe get a starting picture or what. What do you think they, they should do with him? I think that's very possible. Um, if it, Is it going to happen before spring training? I don't know. There's not – you know, the real names out there that could be traded before spring, it depends on who it is. I'm surprised we haven't heard a lot about a guy like Danny Duffy, who I thought would be more of a target. Patrick Corbin I don't think is going anywhere right now. Um, not with Arizona, you know, not getting Martinez. I think you're going to hold on to that staff. People always forget. I You get a lot of people that say, oh, well, he could just be thrown to the bullpen for the Yankees. This guy made the most starts for Arizona last year, exactly. a, play, a playoff team. He's not a bullpen arm. This is a good starting pitcher. So, I mean, if you if you look at what's available now, are they, could the Yankees pull off an archer trade? Yeah, they very well can. Yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait for the offseason, though. I don't see... I agree. I, yeah, I don't I, see nothing I agree that's 100%. worth it right now. I don't see. Here's here's the way I see it, and I, I always try to break this down, but it takes a little bit of time. If you really think about where the Yankees are, this is the exciting thing about being a Yankee fan right now. Look at their prospect pool they have. Look at the guys at the major league level. If you really look at it and say, all right, let, let's be honest here. you got a couple of guys who are probably going to be blocked for a while. 
You got younger starting pitchers like Domingo um, Acevedo, Domingo Herman, Frazier Perez, Luis Medina, who's a little far away. Um, if you want to throw Chance Adams Florio. in it, you can. You got Estevan Florial. You got Tyro Estrada. You got uh, you got Miguel Andohar. You got Clint Frazier. They got Torres. such a pool. Glaber Torres. They got such a pool of young guys that are really good. They're not going to be able to keep all these players. They're going to have to make a deal. So when the offseason comes and you got guys like Machado available, Harper available, uh, Dallas Keuchel available, Honestly, top line guys. I'll make a I'll make a move to get my, Matt Harvey if he bounces back this year. I'll say if he doesn't if, if his price ain't that high. I know a lot of teams are going to skip out on him because he's injury prone. But if the price is right, I think the Yankees are going to make a move for Matt Harvey if he bounces back. Well, I think with Mickey Callaway, he's going to do that. I mean, he's getting. I think I actually, I'm actually a believer in Harvey this year. If he doesn't do it this year, he's done. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, if he doesn't do it this year, he, not that he's done, but he's not going to get any type of role he can because Mickey Callaway has been a guy who's been known to be able to change pitchers, and I, I think he's going to be a big help to him. But yeah, I mean, it, you, it, it's fun to think about of who could be available next off season. You know, uh, would would Arizona look to trade? Uh, 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 Robbie Ray. If they do, the Yankees are in prime position. I mean, if, if you've never watched Robbie Ray pitch, go look at his highlights. The guy is so yeah, he's filthy. Nice. He's, he's nice. Oh, oh, no. I mean, pure domination. This he's is a like guy a, who, He's like a right-handed pitcher, but pitching no, lefty. Yeah, he's a lefty. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right, 100% right. I mean, he is a pure dominating... That, that's the guy that you would talk about that is an ace. He, he's... He, what it was one? I love the stat: 165 innings, 219 strikeouts, something like that. Just, just baseball game type numbers. The, the guy, if he ever stays healthy for a full year, I love to see his numbers, what he does. But guys like him could be available, and there, there's there's some names out there that could still be available. And well, there, there's a lot to talk about for the Yankees because CC, if he has a good year, the Yankees bring him back again. Yeah, he's gonna be like you know? another Andy Pennant just to fill. Up and and, and that's a lot, you know. Um, Tanaka is not going anywhere for another two for another three years. Um. You know, Sevy's not going nowhere. Sonny Gray's probably not going to go nowhere until he hits arbitration, which is coming up now. So, I mean, it depends on what happens. And I, I think if Sonny Gray has a bad year, I think they would look to move him. Yeah, he's just, better fitted into to the National League, in my opinion. Just because there's a lot of there's a lot coming up for the Yankees, and I don't think they're going to have a guy like Sonny Gray block him if he doesn't prove a lot this year. Because he does have a lot to prove. You know, he's leaving yeah. Oakland. He's I mean, stepping he's up high, in the yeah. big city. He's high he could, up he, in their age, too. You know, you got you got people that believe that this guy could be a Cy Young winner on the Yankees. You got people that believe that he's going to be an absolute train wreck. So he's one of those guys that right now is a toss-up. I'm on the side of thinking he's going to be good. I've never said he's going to be a, a Cy Young winner. I don't think he's going to be that. I think he has a chance to be a mid-three, you know, 3.75 guy to give the Yankees some good innings and win a lot of ball games if he keeps them in them. Yeah, I think but, um, he's more fit to be a National League picture with that. I, I don't, I don't see him as being a, I don't see him as being a Cy Young contender this year. Yeah. There's, there's not enough velocity and not enough strikeouts. Exactly, he's, in, he's in that high up there. Yeah, he's game. high up there in age now, so it's like he already reached his peak. He might. Yeah, he's, he, I mean, and he's a good guy. He, he could, he again, he could have a lot, a lot, a lot of success. We'll see, and that'll be best for the Yankees if he does. But um, the depth, the depth is the concern that 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 worries me with the Yankees, like. You know, we can say all we want. Well, throw Chance Adams in there. Throw Herman in there. Throw Sheffield in there. The last thing you want to do is start these guys' clocks, and, and they're not ready for the major leagues yet. So, I mean, I'd rather them be able to get a guy, even if it's a guy like Alex Cobb on a two- or three-year deal if it comes to that. I would do it. I really would bite the bullet, and I would jump out there and make the deal. Yeah, I'll just skip out on this point because, um, like I said, the Yankees, in my opinion, they need a power arm. They need that ace pitcher. And as of now – the players that they have on their roster and their farm system, I believe that Sheffield is the real deal. You can just see it in his face, man. The man can intimidate batters coming up to the plate, and he has a power arm. So yeah, he's a gamer. I mean, he has a and he has a great, great slider. He got to get that changeup going a little more um, because even last year, if you think about a guy like Montgomery, for an example, Montgomery last year threw a fastball slider and a curveball, rarely threw his changeup. If he could get that pitch going. You know, this is a guy who's going to be really good for a long time, and, and that's Jordan Montgomery. But, again, people get mad at me when I say try to get a starter, put him in the, in the, in the minor leagues. 
it's not a negative. The Yankees are going to need more than five starters. They're not going to go the whole year with their five guys. We know yeah, that. I truly believe that they, if they left Montgomery in the rotation last season, he would have won more games than Jaime Garcia and Sonny Gray. So I don't understand the move there. I guess they wanted to save his arm or something. Yeah, it's the, it's the whole innings thing. You know, he started to tail off a lot towards the end of the year. So I think they wanted to just, you know, uh, uh, give him that time and have a decent starter going. Jaime Garcia. Yeah, but absolute... when yeah when you when you analyze Montgomery though he wasn't that bad when he when he was bad he will give up like maybe four runs or whatever. Yeah, no, Montgomery was net was yeah. had a had an excellent had a consistent very solid year. I mean, and and he was a surprise to a lot of people because he wasn't he's never been a name that you heard on the top Yankee prospects. Yeah, he wasn't one of those guys. He was just always really consistent. He's a bulldog. He's gonna go right at you. You know, if his control picks up and his changeup can get to work, and here's a guy with four above average major league pitches, so has a chance to be better than he was last year. When is um Batances going to hit the free agent market? Do you do you know? Um, I believe it's I believe it's two years from now. It should yeah. be 2020 right. or 2021. Yeah, because if it was 2019, I could see the Yankees moving him, but I, I guess they're going to keep him. Yeah, he's um right now he he's pitching for to me he's pitching for his job with the Yankees yeah, this year. Exactly. If he comes out there and has a and has a rough year, rough with command still, he he won't be a Yankee the following year. Yeah. They got too many young guys coming exactly. up that could take that place. But I'll I'll, I'll save him up for 2019 and trade him and then re-sign him. Because if you pay attention to his first half stats, he's pretty nasty. He always makes the All-Star game. Oh, well, and then when the just, guy's yeah. built, great. And then he just deteriorates for some reason. I guess yeah, the Yankees I mean, haven't fixed him up yet. They they always see that he deteriorates um closing out the season and they can't fix him yet. Well, I think last year Girardi hurt him a lot. And he was one of the guys where I kind of saw it as uh, not not really a negative. Now, again, Girardi had to win games in September, and he had to win games in the postseason. So you're not going to use the guy who comes in and walks the first three batters he faces. Yeah. But I think in September, even though the Yankees were still in that race to try to get into the postseason, I still think he was used a little, a little sporadically. You didn't see him a lot. So I don't think it gave him a chance to really work on many things. I'm not making an excuse for him, but I mean, if he comes out as the same guy he's been the last couple of years, you know, gets that control a lot. The fastball control is the main thing for him. If he doesn't have that, it's hard to hit him. You know, if if he's able to control his fastball, he's he's as dominating as anybody in baseball. So, you got to hope he just comes out and makes those adjustments. And the Yankees got some sleepers in that bullpen. I'm telling you, look out for Ben Heller. Uh, Gio Gallegos is another guy that has good stuff. So they, they got a lot of guys in that minor league system that can come up out of the pen to really dominate. Another name there, too, is Chance Adams. Exactly. I think Chance Adams could eventually work his way into a bullpen role with the Yankees. What's going to happen to Warren, though, if, like, say, let's say Chance Adams is called up? Yeah, I don't think Warren's a guy that's really blocking anybody, though. I, I really don't. I like Warren. I like him more as a long guy. I, I never I, – I don't – and it's funny because he's one of those guys where I'm kind of like, all right, he's going to have a bad year this year. He's going to be a guy that's going to replace. Then he's decent. Then he does a decent job again. He continues to be good. He's just not one of those guys, one of those names that really excite you. So, I mean, as a fan, it's 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 a little different watching him. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yankees already traded him once. I, I wouldn't doubt they ever they eventually trade him again because um, he can be very valuable to a lot of teams. Like, like when it came to the whole idea of trading maybe for one of Arizona starters, if it was a guy like Corbin, I thought Warren made a lot of sense for them. Considering he can make a lot of sense for many teams, including the Yankees. Yeah, I'm so, surprised, though, we'll that see. the D-backs and the Yankees didn't make that trade bigger because the Yankees had a lot of pieces that the Diamondbacks were looking for. Oh, I think I think it was bigger. I, I really yeah, do. Yeah, I, I continue to say that. I really think early on it probably had Archer involved in those talks. It probably had Corbin involved in those talks. And I think a lot of that changed when J.D. Martinez signed with Boston. Yeah, I think it changed, though, when the Rays decided to just deplete their uh, team, too. Because according to a lot of reports, too, out there, Arizona knew he was not going to re-sign with them for quite a while before yeah, he signed with I think, Boston. So I, I think that could have really changed up a lot. Yeah, I think the Diamondbacks are making a run again for the playoffs. And they're, they're a good team, man. They're they're a really good team. And getting Souza really helps. I mean, they are, they are a good team. So any other things you want to add before we close out? Um. Let me see. Not not much. Uh, yeah. Again, again, just to just to rephrase it again. I mean, the Yankees got a a good team. They're an exciting team this year. They're going to hit a lot of home runs. If guys stay healthy, I'm excited about them. 
the one big hope I have for the Yankees minor leagues this year is that guys just continue to progress. You know, Estevan Floriel, if you didn't see that triple he hit the other day, the man is a five tool, re the real, real idea of a five tool player. I mean, this man got wheels. I mean, extremely fast, raw power, big guy, plays a good outfield, very, very exciting. Could be the next center fielder for the Yankees. Um, Hicks is another guy I could see dealt. No question about it. I like Aaron Hicks. I think if Hicks shows he's healthy, very big trade target uh, uh, for the Yankees um, just because they got so much coming up. Clint Frazier could, again, break through with this team. Yeah, what's Brett up with Garner, his concussion, though? What's, what's up with Frazier? Yeah, they said, they said it'll be a couple of days he'll be out, um, but it's nothing that's going to put him on you know, on a DL yeah. or just let him, let him sit for a while, keep him out a couple of weeks. Nothing like that. They said it was a minor concussion to be back in a day or so. But, um, you know, he's going to be knocking on the door on Brett Gardner all year. Oh, yeah. No, sure. no question about it. Brett Gardner shows any signs of struggle. I don't think they're going to jump to Ellsbury. I think they're going to go to – I think they're going to go to Frazier. Yep. Frazier needs to have a good spring, and he needs to prove in the minor leagues when he gets there that he's going to play and he's going to do well. He has to do really well in AAA and knock down that door this year because, again, he could be a long-term solution for this team. Exactly. So that has been – Peter Samonetti of the Scumbag Source. The scumbag <laughs> Source, the number one source for scumbag news on the scumbag <laughs> New York Yankees. You got to go to scumbagtwitter.com to find them. <laughs> All right, Pete. Thanks, man. Problem. All right, take it easy, man.